Well hello everyone and welcome back to another video of the F122 driver career mode with Red Bull. Episode number 50 today for this Italian Grand Prix of season 3 round number 12. If you missed the previous episode uploaded on Monday at Belgium, I reckon you go and check that out. An episode where I went toe to toe with Lando Norris and only narrowly, spoiler alert, beating him to the finish line. Um, but nevertheless, it was a win that we deserved. We did have so much speed in a straight line, thanks to our power. But already, we're gonna we're gonna put a bit more on. I mean, why not? Um, Ultimate ERS upgrade is available. Um, sadly, not available for Italy, but will help us later down the line at tracks like Mexico and Brazil. Um, in the interview, apparently, I was funny as well so we've got a bit of driver acclaim for that as well R&D uh, excuse me performance wise though uh, it's McLaren who are able to bring an upgrade between Belgium and Italy uh, none of the others apart from Alpine bring an upgrade Alpine you know if, the, if we start to stagnate then you know Alpine can start bringing the upgrades nothing you know flat lines for the bottom the bottom five teams there as they really get left behind and I suspect the HQs on those five teams there's not up to spec three so that's a, a problem that the game needs to really sort itself out with um, as well but moving to qualifying then uh, Monza I don't want to say this, but unlike Belgium, where we're able to be so quick, it's just I don't have the same. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I suspect it's because it's the AI are running lower wings here than not Belgium. So com comparing them between the two, obviously I'm running not similar, it's not the same wings, but similarly low downforce wings between Belgium and Monza. And obviously, because the AI are running a lot higher wings at Belgium for this middle sector, which I suspect is why they're a lot faster there, that's why um, I'm not so fast here compared to the AI. And you can see, obviously, we're down in P16 on the medium compound run. Uh, we ha this hasn't been this has been an okay lap. We're five tenths up on our previous best time, but. There's a, will this be actually be enough to actually get us in the top 10? That's ideally where we're heading for. We can obviously then make ground up from there. Um, six and a half tenths up now on my previous best time. Up to the line and I think it's not the top 10. It's only P11. Um, which is a shame. Uh, we all know that the AI are a lot slower in the race uh, than they are uh, in, the, in qualifying. So... Yes, it's a shame, but we'll have to see what we can do from 11th on the grid. It's time for the race then for today's Italian, or sorry, today's Slipstream Grand Prix. Welcome back to one of only two countries that has held a race every year since the very first Formula One World Championship in 1950. It is, of course, Italy, one of the great racing nations, and it's time to get underway the Italian Grand Prix. With top speeds reaching 250 miles per hour, only a few places can challenge Monza's crown as the fastest track in F1. Hard-breaking zones going into the three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6-mile circuit. And just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, two DRS zones will help encourage some close action. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lando Norris will lead us away from pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, who will start from P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Russell, Daniel Ricciardo, and Ocon. Sainz, Vettel, Gasly, and Phoenix. Magnussen, Albon, Nicholas Latifi, and Mick Schumacher. Stroll, Sonoda, Robert Schwartzman, and Guan Yu Zhou. Hamilton, and Valtteri Bottas begins the race from the back of the grid. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. 
Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you here with us today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. After the points finished last race, let's aim to keep that momentum going. So Lewis has now taken a penalty. That's going to help the rivalry. Um, race strategy is a one-stop. Was looking again at medium to soft, but it is a tenth of a second slow. We're going to lower the fuel limit. Uh, not too much, though, because obviously of our issues in recent races. Uh, so five at lights then for the Italian Grand Prix. Tenth place on the grid. Lights out and away we go, and it's it's an okay start, better than Vettel initially, but then of course the AI has that OP second phase where we're pushing out one almost off circuit, Maracano like at Hungary. It's a huge dive! What a dive down the inside! We're up to P5. I'll definitely take that. That's one of the best starts I've had on this game. So we have a look at a replay there. I tried to force Albon out so he didn't do a dive bomb there. And then there was contact between Sainz and Ricardo as we sort of had to, didn't get the optimum apex, um, but then we were on the inside. I was watching a replay also of Verstappen versus Norris. Verstappen on the medium tyres. So once again, Alpine going for that alternate strategy. I imagine he'll be going to Haas because the AI usually do. Very rarely do they go medium to soft in a Grand Prix race. Meanwhile, back to RPV, lap one onto lap number two. We slipstreaming George Russell. We set a purple final sector. Um, and we're just going to blast past the Mercedes, which is like a snail in a straight line. Uh, to be fair, Russell does try and come back at us, but we're able to hold us when we try and tap Leclerc, um, our main championship leader. So watching um, Norris versus Verstappen round two. Norris has the inside, which is good for him because Verstappen will get that inside curb um, and Norris will get the better traction and take the lead back at the Italian Grand Prix. Meanwhile, we've got Nor Russell having a go at us down around Curve Grande. The A gets such good traction out of turn two. Um, down there as we try, and he tries to dive it. We have absolutely none of it whatsoever there. Um, and we keep the position up to Lesbos and retain P4 for now. But um, as well as Leclerc is now having a look at. Uh, Verstappen but takes the in that inside curb which is cursed for traction as Ricardo gets past Ocon there and um, again Leclerc is all over the back of Verstappen at that point not able to do it at, at, at Scari and finally potentially here he's got DRS this time moves to the inside uh, but Verstappen covers him off and then I'm able to make the position and has to stay behind as Ricardo defends against Stockholm in the background there. Meanwhile, we've got uh, Ricardo, uh, excuse me, Russell having a go at us uh, down to Lesbos, but he's unable to make the position, which slowly and slowly closing up to Leclerc and Verstappen. If they do a little bit more battling, like what they're doing now, round the outside of Parabolica for Leclerc, can he get this move done? Yes, he can. Nice little move there from Charles. Um, as well, but Verstappen comes back with him with DRS, and Leclerc takes the cursed curb and is back down to P3. Then, so um, once again, um, Leclerc will have DRS, forces Verstappen to the inside of Ascari. That's good because Leclerc takes the racing line, switches around the outside, and Verstappen is finally down to P3. As we're watching, um, Ocon versus Vettel. They've broken halfway through Parabolica for something. And I wonder if Ocon's got something wrong. Because he's coming into the pits. Don't really know what happened there. Maybe another glitch has been spotted. Meanwhile, back to our PV on lap number six. We've been caught we've caught up to Verstappen and have now got past him as well. But Verstappen will come back at us. Um as well. Round the outside curve Grande. We're just able to employ what ERS we've got left. 
an example why we do, might need that ultimate upgrade. We force him to the inside, swoop around, but there's contact between myself and Verstappen. Again, we take the very aggressive move. Our hand comes out as well, um, but we swoop around the outside less boss and take P3. Here's a replay then. So I try and swoop. He just straightens up the steering there. Um, and then this, I've squeezed in there as retaliatory measure there. Um, and then we sweep around the outside of Les Boss. And for now, retain what is now a 1 2 because Norris has come into the pits. Uh, Leclerc will continue on. And we're coming in. So, different strategy between myself, Leclerc, and Norris as well. And Russell and uh, Verstappen can carry on, obviously. He will probably lead the Grand Prix at some point on those medium tyres. Excuse me. Softs are off. Medium is going on. 2.4 seconds. Stop. We have had better. Um, this season um, as well as uh, Russell there there goes Norris he's been lightning uh, while well, we've all been bickering over the positions as well and we will come out in P5 it's Ron right on board with Esteban Ocon who's taking a very weird line don't know if that's actually legal because he crosses into the pit exit lane um, as well I don't think that is legal because obviously if you cross the pit exit line um, you know, it's only supposed to, and Russell does it as well. What's going on with the AI? Are they, why are they trying? Why the that's dodgy for me? Those overtakes shouldn't exist as uh, Ocon is now re overtaken by Russell. And there's a puncture for Norris, so it's all going on. And that was gonna that's disastrous for me because that's gonna hand the race lead to Leclerc as we're watching Ocon. Is now overtaking Russell. So Ocon, who was pretty much staged going 10 mile an hour through Parabolica earlier, is now up to P4. Um, we've got Verstappen unable to catch Leclerc in this race as well. well. We're just defending from Verstappen for P2, really, trying to get make the best of a bad situation. It could have been a lot worse um, had we not, you know, had not had that great start again. Verstappen, having looked down the inside of Lesbos, unable to make it work. Verstappen is all over the back of his, even though he's on the hard tyres, he's got he seems to have got the grip and then warmed up the temperature now as well. And we're also backing him into Ocon and Russell um, as well. But so Verstappen, you know, they'll be able to those Alpines are able to gang up. So watching Ricardo having a go um, at Russell. Um, round the outside of Parabolica, just like Charles Leclerc did, and it's going to be yet again another another example of how to make that move at Parabolica. Uh, back to RP of Eva Stappen again, coming with DRS um, on the hard tyres. We're going to obviously def defend this. This is a final lap um, as well, and take that curb first. An actual fact: Ocon has overtaken Verstappen. So, here's a replay on ball with Ocon. Again, I take the position and Verstappen takes the curse to curb there at the up on turn two. And Ocon gets a better traction. He's up to P3 and he's not yielding the position to Verstappen. Ocon has a tr half look down the inside of his Scari, but nothing doing there. And it looks like we are going to survive to get P2. But this could have been a lot better because, you know, three we've lost lot more points um, being finishing second with Leclerc winning than uh, finishing in first finishing in third with Leclerc second and Morris winning the race so nevertheless it is P2 most of those position gained are having such a good start um, as well and then it was a downfall really for, jo for Lando Norris with his puncher unfortunately another disappointing end for Lando Norris um, in this career mode. Uh, so it's a Red Bull 1 2. Alpine will get 3 and 4. That's bad news for McLaren in their battle for second place in the constructors. Russell 6th, the Ferrari. I mean, the Tafosi, I think, are getting ready to lynch somebody at this pace because the Ferrari is just dreadful. Alpha Tauri 9th and 10th. This is a good track for them, you know. Um, as well, obviously, upgrades of the ride. Even Latifi got 13th as well. Morris, in the end, only be able to recover to 17th. Um, half a minute behind everybody else um, with making that second stop, unfortunately, and getting stuck in lower traffic. So, 
Uh, my advantage has been cut to 18 points then. Verstappen is 46 points behind, and Norris has fallen behind to 62. Um, so, you know, it's pretty much myself versus Leclerc again, and we're way out in front. Alpine opened their gap to McLaren, um, who now got Mercedes and Ferrari moving down their neck as well. So that's definitely going to be interesting in the closing uh, episode, closing four races. Uh, rivalry. Um, we have won the rivalry against Hamilton. Um, so we'll need a new rival in the next episode. That's going to give us a more uh, driver acclaim there as well. So, yes. And all in all, I'll take second. You know, after the qualifying, where we only qualified P11, the start of the race P10, I will definitely take second place. But it could have been... A little bit more could have been a little bit more comfortable definitely in terms of the dry the drivers as well but obviously alpine good day for them and that norris will be just heartbroken you know and that's the problem then you know he did have that consistency but sadly he's not been able to score consistent podiums this season only five podiums this season two wins though so so he'll look to bounce back and I'm sure McLaren will do at Singapore next time out um, which that episode will be coming out on Monday so all that's left if you have enjoyed leave a like subscribe to the channel and you see plenty more F122 driver remote videos and other F122 gaming content as well come out until the next video then I'll see you next time take care thanks so much for watching enjoy your day and goodbye